Hey there folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new OU battle for you today. My opponent is Poke Kazam. Uh, I met him through the Smog on Battlefinder, and he's got a channel, there's a link to it in the description, but he doesn't upload anything to it. I'm just going to go ahead and say out front, I make a lot of really bad plays in this match, and it does end up costing me the battle, although it ends up being pretty close. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Rotom Heat form, just to scout out what he's doing. I am Spex. Uh, I'm actually really impressed that he outsped me. Most of the Ninetales I've run across lately have been bulkier variants who my Rotom would have outsped. So I go ahead and go for the Volt Switch. It's actually good for me that I go second, because that means I get a free switch into Hoover, my Caracosta, and thanks to that crit, he's down to fairly low health, so that's going to be excellent. So I'm going to be able to get off a free uh, Shell Smash, no matter what he does, whether it's Toxic or, as you can see here, Solar Beam, or if he switched out. Uh, uh, Shell Smash is always going to be good, so that's going to get me down to 1 HP. Um, but I am going to get off the Shell Smash, and that means my attack, special attack, and speed are all going to be doubled. And um, so I'm thinking here that I still will probably need to go for the Aqua Jet because he's going to still be faster. But actually, I go first. I mean, as you can see, I get my leftovers recovery first, so really I did not need to do what I did this next turn and go for the Aqua Jet. I could have gone for the Earthquake, would have probably been a better move. But yeah, I take out his Nine Tails, and that's really nice. Now I am down to 19 HP, but you know I've got off my um, I got off my Shell Smash, so I figure it's all good. My opponent goes ahead and sends out Venusaur here, and of course he's gonna outspeed because he's got the freaking Chlorophyll. So Hoover's gonna go down, wasted Caracosta, did basically nothing in this match. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Puff my Magic Dragonite because it does have Fire Punch. I make a stupid move here, he goes for the uh, Sleep Powder, I'm like, that's okay, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance, and I've got the Lumberry, but here's the thing, at plus one, he's still gonna outspeed me, I really should have gone for the Fire Punch here to take him out, uh, but instead, I don't, He act his Sleep Powder actually misses, and so really saves my ass here, I go for the Fire Punch, it is going to one hit KO his, um, Venusaur. He's going to go ahead and send out Cresselia here. I should have actually gone for another uh, Dragon Dance or something here, considering I am at plus one. He goes for the Psychic just to break my multi-scale. Dragon Claw is not going to do enough to KO. Maybe I should have called, uh, switched out here. I still have enough health that a Wish from Jirachi would have brought me back up to full, and he doesn't have entry hazards up or anything. Instead, um, Tux, uh, my Puff, my Magic Dragonite, is going to get KO'd from an Ice Beam, and I've lost both of my hard-hitting sweepers really, really early on, so really didn't play this very well. I'm going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma, and I calculate that an overheat is the better move uh, rather than a super effective Dark Pulse because the sun is up and I get stabbed from it. So Cresselia is now down, and that's great because that thing can be really, really obnoxious. Taking it out, and I'm going to take some toxic damage, but I don't plan on staying in for very long. Out comes his own Dragonite, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out and just hope that he's going to do some kind of setup move. Uh, I go ahead and send out my Jufro as he goes for the Dragon Dance, and I think, yes, that is excellent. Although, actually, had he attacked, I could have endeavored him and I would have been faster, so that would have been nice as well. He's going to go ahead and swap out and swap into Skarmory as I go for the predictable Stun Spore. Stun Spore misses, and I'm going to want to go ahead and call back Jirachi uh, because I don't want to take a Brave Bird to the face. Uh, so yeah, I've sent out Jirachi. He's going to go ahead and get up a whole bunch of entry hazards, but I'm like, that's really okay because I can just send out my Hitmontop to spin it all away later on. So now, yeah, more spikes, more, uh, and I go for a Calm Mind here, I'm think and looking back on this, I'm thinking, what was I thinking? It's a freaking Skarmory setting up Stealth Rocks and spikes. What's it going to do? One guess. I'll give you one guess what it's going to do. Whirlwind! Why would you set up on it? So stupid. Go ahead and send out my Ju- um, my Jufro is dragged out. It's gonna take a whole lot of residual damage, and I'm gonna wanna go- wanna swap out because I don't have my Focus Ash, there's nothing I can do against him. Go ahead and send out Jirachi again, just to get off the wish because whoever, uh, I get Whirlwinded into is going to need that wish. Uh, instead, he goes ahead and sets up his, what, third layer of spikes? It's just really, really not good. So Whirlwind happens this time, and for some reason, my Jufro is sent back out. I thought Whirlwind was supposed to bring out a random Pokemon, and it's kind of lame that Jufro was brought out twice, because had Hitmon Top Rim brought out, it would have been really nice. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Endeavor here. It's going to do a lot. Uh, it's going to do a lot. It's going to bring him down to 79 HP. Of course, it's said what it's going to do. He's going to go ahead and take me out with a Brave Bird. The recoil is not going to do enough to KO or anything. 
and he's gonna recover a bit of health with leftovers, blah blah blah. Gonna go ahead and send out Tachikoma here, and I'm gonna predict him to switch, and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Volt Switch, just to see who he's gonna send out. He sends out his Dragonite, and so Volt Switch was the good move, and I did actually use it correctly here. Uh, I'm gonna break his multi-scale, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the switch out into my Jirachi, which I think this guy probably can't t well, of course, it's a Sun Team, he probably carries the Fire Punch, but I think I can take one, and at least I'll be able to get off a Wish and send to someone else. He goes for the Dragon Dance here, and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe he doesn't carry the Fire Punch, because otherwise I would have thought he would have gone for it, so I go for the Wish, uh, and I'm thinking, I'm actually gonna stay in because I'm thinking he might not carry it, so he goes for another Dragon Dance. And I'm thinking, okay, this is so far so good, and really, now that uh, my now that my Jufro is taken out, I don't really have anything to, that I can do against this Dragonite other than KO with a bulky Pokemon like my Drachi. I go ahead and go for a uh, Flash Cannon, doesn't really do that much. I'm gonna go for another one. No, I think I'm gonna go for a Wish here. So I'm expecting him to hit me and I'm expecting to be able to take one. Although now he's at either plus three or plus four. So I'm thinking, okay, now I gotta start worrying about the fact that it's quite possible that his lamer attacks like Earthquake or, um, hell, even Dragon Claw might actually do a lot of damage. He goes for the Fire Punch here. And I'm really, really shocked that he actually had the Fire Punch all along, but he correctly saw that he could set up on me. So I go ahead and send out Cosmic F, and I've got priority moves here, and I think that a Bullet Punch might be able to take him out, depending on what set he's running. So he goes ahead and calls back into Ferrothorn, predicting me to go for Bullet Punch, and so Bullet Punch is actually going to do more to me than to him, thanks to Iron Barbs. So yeah, not that great, really not good for me. Uh, and yeah, this Ferrothorn is actually back up to full HP after Leftovers. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Leech Seed. I really could have gone for the Rapid Spin here, but instead I went for the Revenge, hoping that he would attack me so that Revenge's power would be doubled. As you're about to see, Revenge isn't even gonna be a two-hit KO unless he attacks me. So I'm going to want to go ahead and Rapid Spin here, because so at least my Cosmic F excuse me, does something. So yeah, he's recovering a lot of HP, thanks to Leftovers and those freaking um, le uh, Leech Seeds. So he's going to go ahead and send out Skarmory. I am going to go ahead and Rapid Spin, and that's going to be nice. And so now I figure he might try to set up again, so maybe I have a chance, maybe I should stay in. Plus I actually don't have anyone who can take a Brave Bird left at this point. So, because now Jirachi's down. So this battle really is not going well for me. He's going to go ahead and go for the Brave Bird here. It's going to take out my Cosmic F, and I'm just hoping that the recoil is going to be enough. But looking at it, uh, the amount of health he has back, I can see that it's really not going to be. So he's going to recover a bit of health with Leftovers. And now I'm down to my last Pokemon, who is my Rotom. Now, here I think I can actually win, because he's got three Pokemon left. Uh, Skarmory, who I've just crippled by giving him a Choice Bet. Uh, the other two are Dragonite, who can probably be one-hit KO'd by uh, Dark Pulse or Volt Switch, and his last Pokemon is Ferrothorn, who can get one-hit KO'd quite easily by my Overheat, but I don't want to go for Overheat right away, uh, so the problem is there's a, uh, there's a timer on the clock because I'm poisoned, and so he can actually probably stall me out, and so i got to be really careful about what I do here. Had I played this right, I think I could have won the battle, but as you see, I get outplayed. So my opponent goes ahead and sends out Dragonite. I really should have gone for the Overheat because I think at that range of health it would have actually KO'd him anyway thanks to the fact that there's Sun up. Instead I go for the Dark Pulse, waste a turn, a turn that I really don't have to waste. And so now when I go for the Overheat, uh, I believe he's actually going to switch this next turn just to screw me over just a little bit more. I mean I'm down to 43 HP, this is my last turn, he's won the battle. He goes ahead and sends out Dragonite, Overheat is going to KO the Dragonite but, and uh, next turn, I'm pretty sure even at minus two, thanks to Sun, I could have one-hit KO'd this Ferrothorn had I not been so ridiculously outplayed. So, great game, Pokekazam. I think we actually had another battle at some point using different teams. Oh yeah, it was an Ubers battle. You'll see it at some point. It's embarrassing. Wait, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, never mind. I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.